edge. The pile of rocks there, with that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the world tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see a mountain in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path, lest you want death. Yeah, I don't see us wanting that. Sure, I'm open. So, uh... You sticking around for grains of wisdom? More of those. Good. What is this? A horn. Here's the end. Can we blow into it? You have no the outcome. Well, we usually push every button, pull every lever we see. Outcomes we can predict. No. This is something else. We must develop your instincts.
With luck, that tower leads through to the mountain. I'm ready. I can't translate this without the whole cipher. Translate those moose behind runes. those things. They smell awful. Your mother called them scorn poles. Poison magic. She was the one who showed me how to disable them. <laughs> what? It's just funny to think of her teaching you something. Yes. is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left its father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. 
She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother, <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no filthy. Okay then, I'll just I will just. Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. I could use a distraction. Now, there is something else to tell you. Where shall we begin? I suppose you prefer my brother's work? <laughs> You're wrong, of course. Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Mavurin Sam Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, Cinder. Don't touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but, um,. Mostly, they just try to kill you. Good tip. Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right. But you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well it's your neck. Ugh.
hell's bramble? Can't burn it? Maybe we'll find something we can use here. Let's come back. I can't tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are. Dwarves are as weird as Barack and Sidri? No. I wonder why they don't get along anymore. I mean, they're family. That is their matter alone, boy. Okay. Focus up, boy! didn't want anyone to open that. Why let a deadly curse stop you?
It's locked magically. Do you think for this last leg up the mountain that maybe I can carry her? I told you no. Why? She meant more to me than you anyway. What? I, I just meant I spent more time with her. You were off hunting a It would serve you to stop talking.
this place. Follow me, Atreus. So, what can I do for you two? Probably shouldn't let my brother lay his hands on it again, but if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work. Is there something else? I can see why mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Oh. 
Wonder if Sinji knows his sky mover is tangled with moods up here. I doubt it. So how's he going to get it to work? I do not care. Is that smoke? Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? You must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. We'll use this. Graython. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. <laughs>